Good afternoon, you two pipe smokers. Raining in New York, 41 degrees. Snowstorm possibly heading for the weekend. So I ordered some uh, Orlick Golden Sliced. I've been, uh, I like it so much. I went through a couple of tins and I went to look for more and I didn't have any. I said, uh oh, better get some more. So I should have it in tomorrow. I did have some all the golden mixture around, but I actually like the golden sliced better. Although the golden mixture is good too. All the Orlicks are good, by the way. Had to order some more 9mm filters. I don't realize how low the stuff gets quickly. I have so much other tobacco, I just don't smoke it. I should, but I don't. <clears throat> Trying a new camera, just to see how this camera compares to the other one. This doesn't have the dual view, but that's okay. It has a better mic setup supposedly so we'll see how that goes the weather's been extremely strange on the weekend it was 60 degrees 68 on so we broke a record on sunday 68 was cold monday chilly and damp today and then towards the weekend it's supposed to go into the 30s and single digits at night what a swing, and just incredible. And I was looking at the weather, and it said, um, you give you the historic dates, the last time it was this temperature was last year, around the same time. Not really much to talk about. I haven't bought any pipes. I'm proud of myself in the last uh, two or three weeks. Only because I haven't looked. If I look, I end up buying some, but uh, there's always something that catches your eye. Anyway, it looks like it's been quiet on the YTC, uh, YTPC front. Uh, not much uh, activity seems to be on the little low side. For some reason. Hope everyone's alright. Well, you know, YouTube, I notice so much, a lot of people don't like what's going on with YouTube. But I'll tell you an interesting story. Uh, my dog, one morning, developed what they call cherry eye. And it's not known in the, my dog's breed, which is a dachshund. And it's like a third eyelid or a gland that pops out. It happens a lot in... Uh, the bulging eye type of dogs, like Boston Terriers and stuff like that. And usually it requires an operation. So 
so I uh, YouTubed it, and there was a woman that actually had a Boston uh, Terrier that had the problem, and she says you could take a damp paper towel and push it back in and massage it a little bit. So that's what I did. I followed those instructions. It didn't hurt him. It just looked terrible. He didn't cry or nothing when I touched it with the moist paper towel. And I sort of pushed it in gently. And he didn't flinch or nothing, so I know I wasn't hurting him. And uh, the next day, the next morning, it was fine. The eye was uh, normal. So I continued every night for a few days just to massage a little bit in that area with the paper towel. And knock wood, uh, it hasn't popped out again and his eye looks normal and everything is good, you know? So YouTube really, you know, is a great resource for information on anything. A product you want to buy, chances are somebody did a review on uh, YouTube. Or a problem like this with the dog. Uh, it's just really fascinating and I watch YouTube uh, quite a lot. I learn a lot from YouTube. It really is a good source for information. And thankfully people post stuff like that and help. It really does help. A lot of traffic for this time of night. Anyway, not much of a rant today. I uh, hope everybody's doing well. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thank